All right. Hello, everyone. This is Rich, and I am back with my part two. I apparently go through puberty. Part two to my Blu-ray TV series and DVD update for May 23rd, 2011. As I said, part two. All right. So let's start off with... Uh, um, I got this one for like two dollars, I believe, like a million years ago, at um, CD Warehouse in uh, Harrisburg. Um, and I, I like the Upright Citizen Brigade, so I was like, oh, this got to be pretty cool. So it was. It was just like freaky, like how Upright Citizen Brigade is. It's like this guy's a doctor. This guy here is kind of crazy, kind of tried to kill himself, and like the doctor helps him to be better. And it's alright, it's kind of funny. If you like the Upright Citizens Brigade, that kind of comedy, you'll enjoy it. And one thing I thought was pretty interesting about this one, it's right here, is that you get a little game. How to go from sanity to insanity and all these little steps. I thought that was pretty cool. It's like a drinking game type of thing. I, don't know. I liked it though. Also has the guy who does the voice, I believe for like Master Shake or something like that. I forget his name. But yeah, also has like, I uh, have <laughs> really old pictures. David Cross and Amy Poehler, uh, Tina Fey, and Jean Garofalo. Yeah, that's pretty good. As I said, it's worth $2. Uh, next is when I went to uh, Chiller, way back when in April. Uh, I met uh, Chainsaw Sally, um, uh, April Monique, uh, hopefully I'm saying the last name, Brule, 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 Check Place Chainsaw Sally. Um, they actually, he actually a different movie with Debbie Rashawn, it's like a witch movie called The Good Sisters. And you see signed it right there, by the way. Too rich, because I'm awesome. I also got my picture with her, too. Um... This is a really cool, weird Ouija board thing that they used during the movie. And, um, it's okay. It's like kind of like a witch movie mixed with, like, a sexual thriller. And essentially the sisters are, like, reincarnations of old witches, like, from back when. And they have, like, a long bloodline of witches since, like, the Salem trials and whatnot. And they think that there's other reincarnations of the witch hunters from back when trying to get them inside this apartment area and they're trying to figure out who it is and what's going on and it's interesting um it's worth a watch especially if you like witch movies like witch board or something like that um you know plus you see chainsaw sally naked and debbie rashawn a good couple of times so you got that going for you um yeah at the very least you can see boobies but, uh, it's a really serious movie. I liked it. Um, not too much blood, but there's blood in it. Um, yeah. So, check it out if you want. Um, I think it's like $20 or something like that on the, uh, Chainsaw Sally site or ForbiddenPictures.com. Yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, next one is... I forgot I had this, and I found it somewhere, and I'm like, oh, I'll just put it in my DVD update. Uh, Monty Python's The Holy Grail. If you don't want to, Python and Holy Grail is. Go see it. You bastard. That's my DVD! My little tiny review. Go see it, you bastard. Monty Python. Come on now. Relic. Relic. Alright. Next is a very not known movie. Uh, it's one of William Shatner's, like, 70s movies, and it's actually, um, John Travolta's very first film. It's called Devil's Reign. Awesome, awesome movie. My friend Mike turned me on to this movie. Um, as you can see, it's an x rental that I got. And, um, it has Ernest Borgnine in it, as I said, William Shatner. Um, Keenan Wynn, I don't know. Um, it's like a cult movie. And, um, trying to, like, figure out what has happened to this one guy's father, I believe. And, like, this whole scene's a devil's reign, essentially, is gonna be happening. And, um, their people are melting because of it, and this whole cult is trying to get the devil back up and, uh, doing it. But, yeah. I'm just playing it terribly. It's really good! I got this for two dollars! See it! 
Only thing I gotta say, I got my money back from Amazon because, like, it plays. It really does play, and it's really awesome. But, like, I got it, when I got it, I got it, it was, like, rolling around inside here. So it's got, like, I don't know if you can see the scratches on the one side here and the inner side. So, but I mean, that's just my individual thing. I've never had that happen from Amazon before. But yeah, Devil's Rain. I know there's a better version of this out, but yeah, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, Devil Worshipping movie is awesome. I think it's from 1970-something. I know it's from the 70s. I still know what year. Um, and this version is the 2001 version. I know there's an updated version of it out. Um, I like uh, the movie Long Island Massacre, and I really shouldn't because it's, it's actually quite bad. And I was like, man, I wonder what other movies Nathan Scheif has done. And I'm like, I'm going to go buy some. So I spent $6 and bought his movie, They Don't Cut the Grass Anymore. It's fucking terrible. Like, I don't say anything about the worst movies I've ever seen. The worst movies that I own. It's bad. Very bad. Very bad. So, yeah. Um, it's like a killer hillbilly movie, and yeah. I actually got and downloaded a movie that's not, it's like really rare on VHS, and apparently I don't even know if it's ever going to be written, um, made on DVD or anything like that. It's called Vermilion Eyes, I believe, that he's done. And I watched like 15, 20 minutes of that one, and that one's terrible as well. But eventually I'm going to put it on a DVD and case and make one. But yeah, I believe it's not out, it's out on VHS, but like not any sort of official stance. Um, now I have this version on like a bootleg that I got off of Netflix. Um, but I, I just like, man, I gotta get an official copy of it. I gotta support my, my, the most unknown action hero that there ever was, Billy Garbarina, and, um, by Necro, Necroville. This movie's like Ghostbusters if Ghostbusters fought vampires and zombies and werewolves and shit like that. And, like, they do it super low textiles. You can see guns and baseball bats and all kinds of kung fu fighting and stuff like that. Billy Garbarine is fucking awesome. Um, as you can see, it seems like he's mega photoshopped into this picture. His head looks bigger than the body. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> um, but movie's really fun. Um, it's really funny. Um, it's like two down and out guys that lost their job at a video store. And they're like, we need work. And apparently there's zombies and like vampires and all these other ghouls that exist in this world. And their job is to snuff them out. So... I don't know, I thought it was pretty interesting. I liked it. You know, as, as it says, from Fangoria.com. Highly entertaining. So, yeah. Um, let's do one more. And I'll stop it for right now. Um, Family Guy, it's a trap. It's This is the third version of the Family Guy stuff. It does, I think this is Return of the Jedi. Um, I got this as an external blockbuster, as you can see. Um, it's funny, you know. I think the uh, Star Wars type thing with comedy has been kind of beaten, like, to death now. So, I mean, it's funny, but, like, the first one was a lot funnier than the other, than the other ones. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, check it out if you want. I mean, I got it for $4 as an extra rental. So, for $4, I don't know. If you're a Family Guy fan, check it out. I mean, it was already on TV at one time, so if you saw it then, you really don't need to see it again. I didn't see it on TV, so that's why I bought it. So. Alright, well, I'm going to stop it for right now. Uh, I'm going to have a few more, and then all my LBP ones that I got from Chiller. So I'll be back in a second. See you later for part three, you fuckers. Uh.